My first poem published was in one of the Archie comics, Katie Keene comics. It was a, uh, I, I won't embarrass myself, but it was about uh, a girl who liked candy rather than any, anything else. And then when my friends would get into battles on the street, they would call me, this must be some old, old Celtic thing, I am a quarter Irish, where I would have to say all the sounds, as we call it, or the dozens, or whatever that was. I would invent them there, like your mother or your whatever. I'm not very proud of that. But I think people recognized that I had some kind of verbal thing going. In high school, the nuns discovered that, probably some essay we had to write, and they brought, they brought a faculty member from their fellow sister school, a college teacher, to come and work with me once a week. And I thought, what does she want from me? I, 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 I don't want, this is not me. I don't do this. I don't do this. So I stopped showing up. I stopped showing up, too, for speech class because I just didn't want to speak publicly. Now you, you can't stop me. But uh, all of that was working on the side in my, some way that I was not conscious, that I was forming into something different. And when I switched out of my visual arts major into English, I fell in love, and I fell in love with the old dead guys. I fell in love with the British poets. I loved them. I loved Chaucer, and Chaucer is a figure whom I spent a lot of time with and also in grad school. Um, but through, through, through my college education, it was the Romantics and the Medievalists. And when I went on to grad school, it was the, uh, the Medievalists and the Contemporaries. I went to